I don't have my microphone, but I wanted to go over another study of high versus low meat diets on iron. In this study, they looked at 14 women between the ages of 51 and 70. And this is interesting because between the ages of 51 and 70, you're most likely going through menopause. So these women were probably not losing blood anymore through a period. This was a seven week um, diet study and the high meat diet contained lean beef, chicken, ham, and tuna which replaced low mineral content in the low meat diet. The low meat with supplements diet, um, basically it's as it sounds, it has lower meat, but they added in supplements. But between the low meat with supplements and the high meat, they had the same potassium, iron, magnesium, zinc, phosphorus. The zinc did go up with the high meat diet, but nitrogen and calcium balances were not different from the high meat and the low meat diet. Nitrogen would imply protein. Now here's the interesting part about iron. Iron balance was not different from the high meat and the low with supplement diet with similar iron content. They had the similar iron content and the iron balance was basically the same. But the high meat diet was unexpectedly associated with lower iron status. And get this, it had lower ferritin, lower iron stores than the low meat diet or the low with supplements. So even if you don't supplement, if you're just on a low meat diet, you can have a higher ferritin than when you're eating a high meat diet. Now, I wish I could get into further details with the study. Unfortunately, I don't have access, but still interesting that the higher meat that these women ate, the lower their, their stores and they're not bleeding. They don't have a menstrual cycle. At least a good chunk of them are not going to have a menstrual cycle anymore.